China. For Audi, it's the most important market on the planet. Cars with the four-ring logo sell like the proverbial hotcakes. At the Auto China show in Beijing, Audi surprised visitors with a theme car based on the Q3. Its name is Jinlong Yufeng, which means golden dragon in the wind. The car is aimed at a young demographic whose favorite pastime is kitesurfing. For the market introduction of the Q3 in China, Audi also showed a concept called RS Q3, an SUV sports car combination. Its five-cylinder engine sounds great and supplies 360 horsepower, enough to accelerate the car to 100 km per hour in 5.2 seconds, with a top speed of 265 km per hour. Again, this is a concept car, but one that is very close to production. Audi presented yet another concept called A6L e-tron, and since the size of your car is an important status symbol in China, the business saloon is very popular. In addition to that, Chinese people in general can be described as rather technophile. The A6L is our flagship here in China. We have a new version here at the show. And as a highlight, we presented the e-tron concept with plug-in hybrid technology, which is very future-oriented and would fit perfectly into the Chinese market. The car has a range of up to 80 km on electricity alone. However, the top speed in this mode is limited to 60 km per hour. But if you have experience driving through Beijing or Shanghai during rush hour, you know that this is more than sufficient. What's more important is that the car operates emission-free, which is a feature that is slowly moving higher on the Chinese priority list. Should Audi decide to build the A6 L e-tron, it is safe to assume that Chinese buyers would jump on the opportunity of owning one.